Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic, static binding in Java program. So what is this static binding? So first of all, we'll understand binding. So binding means connecting method call to method body in a Java program. So whenever we call a particular method in a Java program, it has to execute the body or definition of the method. So that connectivity is known as binding. So this binding in Java program happens in two types, static binding or early binding. Second one, dynamic binding or late binding so our concern here is static binding so what is the definition of static binding so when the type of the object in a java program is determined at compile time for executing a particular method is known as static binding okay so type of the object for executing a particular method is determined at compile time then it is known as static binding so for example let us take int a is equals to 10 so when we compile the program java compiler understands that the type of variable a is int similarly student s1 so here type of s1 which is a object reference variable is student class and when we take student s1 is equals to new student so when we compile the program so type of s1 s1 object is student class type or base class type so what is a base class for student for example person class okay so here s1 is of type student class as well as its base class type also which is person class so hence type of the object determined when we compile the program by java compiler is known as static binding so whenever class contains private methods final methods and static methods then it is known as static binding because these methods are not inherited to subclass so they can be called only with base class object only with the current class object so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program java static binding example one right so first take comments at the beginning of the program i am taking a class a with instance method m1 and printing the message m1 method of class a similarly void m2 method and printing the message m2 method of class a so both m1 and m2 are instance methods they are instance methods of class a right so now let us take the main class with main method and save this program in your working directory so let us create an object of class a so how to create an object of class a new followed by constructor a so when we create the object of class a using new operator so internally object will be created and it will have one physical address in the memory so that address we are storing in obj of type a so when we compile this program the java compiler understands that obj variable is of type class a and this is determined and this is determined during compilation time only because class a does not have any base class any user defined base class so hence determining the type of an object during compilation time is known as static binding and when we say obj.m1 so compiler already knows that during execution time from line 20 
it should go to line 5 and execute this body. So this connectivity happens during compilation time only. Similarly, when we say obj.m2 during execution time when we run the program. So compiler already knows that while generating the uh, bytecode from line 21, it should go to line 9 and execute this body of the method. So this connectivity from method call to actual body of the method in a Java program by determining the type of object during compilation time is known as static binding, static binding or early binding or compilation time binding. Right. So let us save this program. Come to the command prompt where you have saved the program and then compile the program. Java C Java static binding example one dot Java. Right. Compile this and then run it. So M1 method of class A, M2 method of class A. So here during compilation time only compiler already knows that from line 20 it has to go to line 5 and execute the body of the method m2 from line 21 it has go to it has to go to line 9 and execute the body of the method so this connectivity or intimation happens to the java compiler during compilation time only and then bytecode is generated so this is what is all about static binding in java program and the static binding it is mainly related to instance methods of a particular class which doesn't have a user defined base class thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day